Welcome, Anna, and anybody else who happens to stumble onto this video. This is what I hope is going to be the first in a line of several how to read music videos, and then maybe even how to do some other cool music theory things as we go along the way videos. Before we get started, I do want to mention that if you'd like to download Finale Notepad, it's a free notation software, and I'm going to try to provide, as I go along, access to some files that will help practice what we talk about in these videos. So I encourage you to do that. It's still very new in the process, so there may be some bumps along the way, but practice helps. When we think about music, there's a couple of different ways to think about music. And what we're going to be talking about in this first video is music in time, okay? or side to side, horizontally, or in rhythm. That's the musical term. Okay? Now, rhythm is the idea that we have to have music notes that are long or short, fast or slow. That it has to do with the amount of time the sound takes. So the most basic concept of rhythm is one of a beat. Okay, and a beat is just a steady pulse that helps us measure time. So as I provide these beats right now, there is a, a pulse, a drive, and you, after a while you can even predict where the next one, when the next one would happen. And so that is our beat. When we look at a piece of music, and I have right, what I have right here is kind of a very, very basic music notation idea. There's a couple things to point out and define before we get into it. The first one is these little lines that stick up and down. These are called bar lines. And they help us just to kind of break up the music and see it and understand it a little better as we get into it. Okay, A measure is the space between a bar line, that space that's highlighted blue right now, or there, or there. So this is the fourth measure because we have one, two, three, four. Okay, so this measure is a space between bar lines. At the beginning of the music, we have a symbol that we call a time signature. Now we're only going to worry about the top of the time signature for right now, although we'll come back to the bottom later. So let's use this little cool graphic that Make Music has already made for us. Okay, the top number of the time signature tells us how many beats per measure. So if these are our beats and our top number is four, how many of those do we have in each measure if we count them? That's right, four. So if I'm providing this beat here, one, two, three, four, one, I would have to start a new measure because I have, can only have four beats in a measure. So this space right here can only contain four of those claps. Then this space contains four, and so when you're counting it, you think one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So it always starts over. And this symbol helps us organize and understand some of our notes. So let's talk about some of those notes. There are different kinds of notes, and each of those notes has a different length. There are whole notes, there are half notes, there are quarter notes, and there are eighth notes. Now, we're really only going to be talking about whole halves and quarters in this video, but we'll get to eighths, I promise. So, a whole note is going to take up all of this measure, the whole measure. So, how many beats would that make it? That's right, four beats, because it takes up the whole measure, and there are four beats in a measure with this time signature symbol. So if I were to put a whole note in there, and yeah, it says cowbell, that's a finale funky thing, but that's okay, because you can never have too much cowbell, right? This is what a whole note looks like. It's a circle that's not filled in just by itself, and it lasts four beats. Our half notes, look similar. There are a circle that's not filled in, but they have a stem on them. This stick right here that comes out of the note head. And that note is how long do you think? That's right, two beats. And then a quarter note, if you're really up on your division, a quarter note 
will make sense because a quarter note is one quarter or one fourth of a whole note. And how many beats is it? Also, if you've been paying attention to your time signature, you'll note that there are four of these in a measure and there are four beats in a measure. So each quarter note gets one beat. And let's just look at this and kind of written out real quick. So a whole note, which looks like this, is four beats long and it's sustained. It's a note that lasts for four of those clicks. A half note is two beats long. It lasts for two clicks. And a quarter note is one beat long when the time signature looks like this. And it's one beat. So let's hear what some of this sounds like. So when I say a sustained sound, what I mean is that it lasts. So you can hear how it's held out. So a whole note lasts for four counts. And it's a little tricky to keep track of that, so let's approach it from the other direction. How many quarter notes can we fit in one measure when the time signature has a four on top? That's right, four quarter notes. Hopefully that's what you said. So we have four quarter notes here, and each one will last one of those beats. One, two, three, four, etc., etc. So let's build it from the quarter notes. A quarter note is one beat long, and a half note is two beats long. How many quarter notes go into a half note? Hopefully you guessed two, or didn't guess, hopefully you knew two. So two quarter notes and a half note, how many half notes and a whole note? Good, two. How many quarter notes on a whole note? So it's kind of like our fun version of musical math, that each one of these has a relationship to the other. So let's listen to it, and I'll provide just a very tiny pulse in the background so that we can hear how each note length lines up to the beat. And hopefully you can hear the starts of each note and see them as the green line goes across. Let's do that one more time. So the idea is that what we're doing is we're determining how long or short a note is. And that's what these symbols mean. The circle without filled in, that note is four beats long. It lasts for four clicks. Whatever the beat is, however fast or slow the beat is. This half note is two beats long. It lasts for two clicks. And the quarter note is each one beat long. So let's kind of look at this in a slightly different way. Actually, wrong slide. There we go. So when we keep track of these things, we do something we call counting, which sounds very, very simple, and it is, but it's very important. And what we're doing is we're counting which beat the note starts on. So if you look right here, the first measure is very easy because each quarter note is how long again? One beat. And so when you count it, you just say one, two, three, four. Very simple. So an example of that, if I have a pulse, would be to say one, two, three, four. And you want the sounds, the numbers, to touch when you say it. So going one, two, three, four. That's not accurate because now you've got this giant space in between the numbers. And we don't want that. We want to get the idea in our head that that symbol, that filled in circle with the stem, right here, tells us that this is lasting one beat long and it has to last all of the beat. One, two, three, four, they have to touch each other. Now what will we do with this right here? This whole note. Are we gonna say one, two, three, four? Well we can't because it doesn't work that way. Those are what we did for quarter notes, right? So when we count this out loud, we're gonna just hold the one out. One 
and we're going to keep track in our brain. One, two, three, four, stop, but without saying that out loud. So if I were to count the first two measures here, one, two, three, four, one, that's what they would sound like. What will we say in this measure right here? Can you tell just by looking at the numbers underneath? That's right, we're gonna say one. We're not gonna say two because this half note lasts for two beats, but we are gonna say three. So if our pulse is here, one, three, we have to hold each one of those out for two beats or two claps. So I'm gonna provide a pulse, and I want you to count through the first three measures that I just went over. So here's your pulse. One, two, ready, and count. Now if you made a mistake, that's okay. Don't stress out. But let's kind of go over it and we'll do it together. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one, one, three. Should you do better that time? Hopefully so. Let me, let me give you a chance to do it on your own. Two, ready, go. And I stopped right here. Do you think you could do the rest of this on your own? Take a second, figure out what you're going to say, how you're going to count it. All right, let's give it a shot. One, two, ready, go. Now did you make it all the way to the end to this thing here called the double bar line which tells us that we stop anytime this happens in music that's a stop sign it means whoa, whoa music's over hopefully so let's do it together and then let's look at the next line one two ready go one two three four one three four one and you have to go all the way to touch this double bar line. If you think in your head, one, two, three, four, and finish the word, and go all the way to touch the bar line, you'll be in good shape. If all you do is one, two, three, and don't actually get the number four out, you're gonna stop too soon. Now, what would we say for this? What would we write in here? For these counts. We'll do the first measure together because that's pretty simple. How many beats does a quarter note get? The answer is one, that's right. So one, then two, then three, then four. Very straightforward. Do have you seen this already anywhere on the screen? Hopefully you notice it's the same. What about this one? How long is this? What's it called, first of all? What's the name of this note? Quarter note, half note, whole note. And then how long is it? So we're going to always write one, then two, then three is the next number you'll say out loud, then four. Let's try doing these first two measures. Remember, the measure is the space in between bar lines together. Two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one, three, four. See? Excellent. Now I'm going to give you a second. I want you to try to do the whole thing on your own. But first, take a minute, look and see where, which numbers you're going to say out loud. So identify where you're going to say ones, where you're going to say twos, where you're going to say threes, and where you're going to say fours.
give you just a little bit longer to find the whole thing. Alright, now I'm going to be super quiet, or try to be super quiet, as we do this. So I want you to say it nice and loud. Count them, and I'm going to count them nice and soft, and we'll see if we can line up in the same place. From the beginning, so we're starting right there. One, two, ready, go. One, two, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, three, one. Did you get it? Hopefully so. If not, I'd go back through, maybe even rewind the video a bit, and see if I can nail down exactly where and how each number goes in what spot. So let's hear a little bit of these in context. Um, so we just went through and did those, but let's clear that out and put some rhythms that are slightly different. Oops, wrong button. So how would we count these without the benefit of having the little dashes underneath? What would we say for the first thing in the measure? It's kind of a trick question. What's always the first thing in the measure? One. But then this note is two beats. So are we going to say number two out loud? No, we're going to continue on. And this is going to be number three. Good. And then this quarter note is how long again? Good. One beat. So we have one, two, three. And then are we going to say four? No. That's right. We're not. Similar thing here. Think about what's missing. There are only three notes. There are four beats. Which number are we not going to say out loud? And then we have this quarter note. So I want you to try to count them. Actually, you know what? I need to add a measure to this. Insert measure so that we can see the beat. But we're gonna, I want you to try to count it as we go. So I'll help you get started. And then the, the computer is going to play a sound, and I want you to see if you can count with the sound. Two, three, go. One. Did you get it? Let's try it one more time, because I know the start could be a little bit awkward. So that's the idea of rhythms. We have our time signature, whose top number tells us how many beats are in a measure. We have our measures, the space in between two bar lines. We have our whole notes, which last four beats. Our half notes, which last two beats. And our quarter notes, which last one beat. The last idea that I'm going to leave you with today before we go on to something else for the next video is going to be that what happens if I change the top number? If I make it a three? Uh oh, lots of crazy stuff happens. Because that top number tells us what? How many beats can be in a measure? So now we have one, two, three beats in a measure. Can I put a whole note back here at the end like I had before? That's right, I can't. In fact, the computer program won't even let me. When I try, it says, nope, not allowed. So the time signature top number changes how things work. Now, what we have here is a file that I'm going to try to make available for you to be able to work on your own. 
And the idea is putting the numbers in where they go and seeing where each beat happens. Okay? Right here, right there. Now, it's super simple, right? One, two, three, four. But that's the only part of it. The second part is making sure you know where to say which number you're going to say. You're going to say this number here, you can say both of those numbers for that note. What about both of these numbers? So the idea is one of being able to do that. And then last, I love this last line. What's missing here? Or right here that we have in this line. Are you missing this right here? And this right here? And this right here? So try to see if you could figure out in 4-4 four, four time, top number is 4, 4 beats in a measure, where you would need to draw the measures in to make this work. So you want to say, where do I put, and they've even helped you with this first one, they've drawn a dotted line. Where would I put the measure to make it work? And that's our introduction to notation and specifically time signatures and rhythms. I hope that that was useful and helpful. And I'm going to leave you with our note tree, just so you can have one more visual to see how it continues to divide in half. If there are any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll try to get to them when I can or to send me a message.